Welcome to Pro Kitchen 7.0 Video Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at some of the new functions of the wall oven cabinets, particularly how to place wall ovens in these cabinets. In the past, it's been kind of difficult. There's been some confusion. We've cleared this up, but now this little video will help everyone to understand exactly how they work. So, I've got a little design open here. I'm going to add a wall oven to it. I'm going to grab this guy. I'm in sample catalog. All catalogs will work the same. I'm just going to grab my little wall oven cabinet, drop it in place there. Now we're going to right click, go to attributes. And once in attributes, we want to click on our appliances tab. You'll notice over here in our image, we've got 2D as well as 3D. 2D is the way it used to be shown, so we've added the 3D function to it. We can zoom out, we can zoom in, we can tilt, and we can rotate. And also your mouse controls work up here, so if you move your mouse in there, hold down your right mouse button, move your mouse, it'll spin it around there. Um, you can also open and close the doors, we've had this function in there for a while. But we want to look at how to add the appliances. So I'm going to click on the Add Appliance. Under our Appliance drop down menu here, we've got Gen Air, so we've added those appliances in there. So now you can add Gen Air appliances if you happen to be selling Gen Air. Uh, but most likely you'll be in just the uh, default appliance catalog. So I want to go to Cooking, and I want to go to Wall Ovens, and Electric Wall Ovens and single wall ovens and we're just going to use this first one right here stainless steel to match the rest it's the right size um, anything under 30 inches is noted by it being 27 inches so we want to put a 30 inch in there and I'm just going to hit place and here it shows up but you'll notice you don't really have to zoom for this but you'll notice it doesn't quite fit well that's quite all right we can fix that Notice it's too wide and too tall of a cutout. So here's our appliance height. You can adjust this if you want to. You can make your appliances taller or shorter. Whatever works for your application. I'm going to go ahead and leave it to 29 and 3 quarter inches wide. Going to change our cutout width to match. Let's get this guy down here to 29 and 3 quarters. Our height. We've got our height of our wall oven up here. Now I can make this guy a little bit bigger if I wanted to. So why not? Um, now you will want to probably pay attention to the specs of your actual appliances when you're doing this. So it makes it really easy to match uh, the appliances that you might be using. Because as we know, not everybody does it the same size. So I'll get this guy down here. There we've got our height right. You'll see how nicely that filled it in. And you'll see that there's an elevation option here too. Now this elevation, what that will do is it will raise the oven up or down in the section of the oven that it's allowed for. So if your manufacturer, you know, if you're in sample catalog, for instance, and you need to drop that, you certainly can or raise it depending on the appliance and the customer's needs. Now I want to rotate around here, and it looks like looks like we need to make this guy just a little bit deeper not quite sticking out deep enough now I can go in and change my depth or I can change my depth alignment we got a little slider bar down here we're gonna run them up here away so you can see how it works there it slid it straight out for us I actually want it to be around I found about 10 percent is just about right for this particular oven combination so there we go we've poked it out 10 percent Looks like we got right about that three quarters of an inch or so that they stick out. Of course, probably not all of them stick out, but most of them kind of have a little trim piece across there. So there we've got that. Now we're basically done here, so I'm going to click OK. We'll pull up a 3D. And here's our 3D with our oven in it. So we rotate it around. We see we're set just right for it in out depth looks really great so this will help you to be able to use that wall oven to its very 
most potential and get a very good image for your customers. Thank you for watching this tutorial.